You only need four steps in brewing your own beer. But before we move further into that, most importantly, we need to sanitize and clean all the items. So I boil this hot boiling water, put it all in the fermenter. Make sure everything is sanitized because quality control is very important in brewing your own beer. Next, we're going to drain everything dry. Make sure that you wash carefully all these hard to reach places like the rubber tread and all. So while waiting for everything to drain dry, we'll do this. We move on to the mold. We open up this container and we have the yeast over here. So we need to soak this in hot boiling water. This will help soften the concentrate. I've already sanitized everything and screw it in cap. And I've opened the can of malt as well. Let's give it a taste. It's like honey. Mm. It smells like ketchup, you know? Soy sauce. It's a bit bitter. Okay, I'm gonna pour this whole thing inside. Put in some hot water, maybe. Fill this up. And pour in the brewing sugar. And then let's start brewing with 2 litres of hot boiling water. Okay, so you have done with the malt and sugar with hot boiling water of 2 litres. You need to fill in with spring water up to 23 litres. And I've already done that. So the next step is to put on the thermometer strip this is to ensure that the temperature falls between 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. So next, where is my yeast? Stir it, okay. So this is a very important step. You need to put in the yeast. So once you're done with that, okay, this is actually to ensure that, the yeast is to ensure that, you know, it ferments with the sugar, and it will naturally produce carbon dioxide and alcohol. So you don't need to do this, you know, artificially later. Okay, you need to seal this lid really tightly and put on the airlock, fill it with half boiled water. This is to ensure that the bacteria and oxygen do not go into this mantle, but are still you know, able to come out from it. We'll leave this on for a week and we'll check again next week. Bye-bye!